My name is Denise White, and I am the host of the Coffee in the Green Room podcast. Here in the Green Room, we have those conversations. Maybe you don't have in front of the stage, but you have behind the stage. And I am so excited to have my guest here today, Merle Chandler. Merle, thank you so much for being here today. I'm I'm super excited, especially your audience. Fascinating uh, a group of people, and all of them, what you know, wanting to build and grow their brand, grow their uh, grow their opportunities. So I'm I'm all in. I'm oh, thank you for having me. You're welcome. Yeah. So uh, we work with creatives here at VIP Ignite. So they're actors, models, musicians, people who are either getting started or looking to elevate their success. And like you said, they're, they all need to build a brand because when you think of the quintessential actors, you think of Brad Pitt, you think of um, Denzel Washington, and you don't necessarily only think of them because of their acting skills, but because someone's putting them out there in front of you all the time. So I know that you're an expert in branding. So for someone who's just getting started out, can you, what's the first thing you would tell someone to do to start building their brand? Well, the, the, so we take, uh, we take a, a unique perspective on branding, right? What we do is we help, uh, we help small business owners because um, there's a thing uh, that create a challenge many, many, many creatives have is that they're building a career that they may be wildly successful as an artist, right? Uh, yeah. But they're not necessarily the quintessential business owner, business runner, or know how to turn leverage your talents into a a, a leverage, a, a leverage your talents into a brand that can be then leveraged into financing to grow your empire. The yeah. big, biggest, biggest players are the ones who are no longer just a musician, just a an actor, actor, uh, uh, just a, uh, a, a recording artist, but ones who have built business empires reflecting their brands, right? Yeah. So that they're so what they so what we specialize in is helping artists establish the fundamentals of a of what we call a fundable business yeah. and build build that business up so that when you come to a bank you're able to get fifty hundred thousand dollar business lines of credit business loans in order to invest in the in the other opportunities that will come to you as a result of increasing your reputation, increasing your brand as an artist, right? And yeah. so we kind of we kind of uh, we put a bridge across that uh, between those two areas of artistry and mm -hmm. business building, right? To be turn your turn your talents into a business. Wow. That sounds too good to be true. So let me ask you a question. Like, so a, an aspiring actor or model, what's the first step they need to do so they can become a fundable business versus someone who wants to do this? Okay. First of all, <laughs> you want to, you want to build an LLC that has, that is your name. Like my Merrill Chandler Incorporated or my, Merrill Chandler INC uh, or LLC. So that your name and your business are the same. Whoever you and if you're using a pseudonym, right, as in in acting, then your company name needs to be the pseudonym. Okay. Not your nat your 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 uh, natural or your birth name. Mm -hmm. So you want to build your company to be the alter ego of who you are in the marketplace. Okay. And there's a bunch of structures way beyond the scope of you know of our half an hour podcast um but that's what i'm here for is is yeah. to take your skill set and help you build the right kind of entity that is going to be attractive to to bring on investors in you uh what is what's hot right now is is shares of your career there is a, there is a movement going on where you are it's happening in sports it's happen, where people are buying shares of an un uh, an un published author an un uh, 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 a, a new actor a new musician but they're looking for funding if they show if they show certain promise people you can buy shares hoping that stock's going to go up and so you fund the career of an artist or, that's, a, or that's... a person or 
uh, whatever your talents are, people are, people are, I mean, for heaven's sake, we, 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 we um, invested in NFTs, right? I mean, we invested in walruses made with uh, Coke bottle lids, you know, and paid hundreds <laughs> of thousands for them. Of course, we're going to take real talent, real skills, real opportunities, and people have, a, have an opportunity to invest in that. But you have to look like a business person. You can't, you've got to look like a business. You can't just be the artist, right? Yeah. Go back to the, the, uh, uh, the Kardashians who are famous for being nothing, right? Famous for being famous. Famous for being famous. What? That's the irony, right? They're famous for being famous. So imagine if you're, imagine if you can create your, your impact in your in your sector, right? In your in music, in in uh, in uh, being a chef, by whatever your talent is, yeah. imagine that the foundation not being your skill set, but your foundation being a business that markets and produces your skill set. That's the end game. That's really cool. We were at a conference last year with Lee Steinberg, who was. The real Jerry Maguire, so the, the the agent, he's Patrick Mahomes' agent, and he was talking all about how a lot of college athletes now are getting these deals for their likeness, so that it's it's a way to fund them, not only through college, but then when they get to the NFL or the NHL or the MLB or whatever it does whatever it is, and then that's how they're they're building a lot of stock in themselves before they even get somewhere and it's also helping them create long-term income because as you know like athletes have have a pretty short lifespan in prof professional sports but this will be even more impactful for actors i mean you look at like someone like morgan freeman who didn't start acting until he was in his 50s so now someone who's 20 30 they start building this foundation they start building this stock now the sky's the limit for them it, that it, especially it, absolutely especially if they pivot and JV on a restaurant with somebody who is uh, let's say they're a, a a B or a C level actor and they mm -hmm. they partner with a great friend who uh, the, uh, their camaraderie is amazing so they partner maybe even a silent partner and JV in a restaurant or a food truck it doesn't matter what it is yeah. you get kissed in to the level of the person who is the most well known yeah. in that group right and yeah. so and so our, our our whole basis is creating the business foundation and the leverage because the first thing you want to be able to attract uh, let's say it's that restaurant the mm -hmm. first thing you want to attract is money to invest yeah. in restaurant because then you're expanding your empire above and beyond your own artistry um and so if you are not fundable if you are not approval ready when you walk into a bank now you have to rely solely on your talent and some of us are just beginning right yeah some of us haven't got the wind beneath our wings yet yeah. and so and one of the great tragedies great tragedies of many professional sports actors and uh, actors and musicians is that it's the almost there right the almost yeah. there concept right and so we and so people are i mean there's how many how many television shows where the waitress is trying to make it and it's <laughs> and it's the struggle right yeah be, because they're almost famous yeah um, imagine imagine if that same waitress had built a business foundation uh, that based on her name, um, yeah. his name, and built that foundation and was able to become fundable using re their regular W two income, their their um, uh, uh, their uh, um, you know Uber income, right? Whatever it is that they're in yeah. in, in, in in that economy, <clears throat> and was able to create a foundation that they can leverage. If they hit it, man, that business goes through the roof because yeah. it's their aim. <clears throat> if they don't make it, God forbid, if they don't make it, they've got a foundation of business with all the right business principles to fall back on rather than just being 
eight, and I don't want to I don't want to say anything negative about the W two universe, but there's way more than the W two universe out there, folks. Yeah, way is. more than the W two universe out there. Yeah, no, that's awesome. I love that so much because I think again when when we start talking to people, they're like, I want to be famous. I want this. I want they, a lot of times the business part of it, they don't even, it never even hits, it never even occurs to them. Like the Kardashians, they invest millions of dollars in their branding and ads and doing everything to, to build them up, build themselves up to where they are. Like those videos that we watch on TikTok and all, they're not just, they're, they didn't just like grab out their phone and go, Hey, here I know there's a lot that goes into it, a lot of production value and people don't really take into consideration the business part of show business. So I really appreciate you talking about this. So, so now we've established an LLC. Okay. So now we have the business foundation. What's one, what's something else that they can do? Well, first of all, they want to stop. They want to make sure that they don't step on the funding landmines, the funding okay. landmines. That, that sounds scary. Right. Well, because um, here's a perfect example. <clears throat> Here, perfect example. There are credit card imposters out there for business credit cards, mm -hmm. right? They all they have all the marketing and pizzazz of a business credit card, and then all the balances you put on that card report to your personal profile. Here, here's the insider secret: business true business credit doesn't report to your personal, so you can carry a balance without your score and your fundability going down because. Yeah. All the because people are like, okay, I'm going to advertise, or I, I need to pay somebody to buy a web uh, to build a website for me, and I'm going to be able to pay it off over six months. So they charge up a ten thousand dollar credit card they think is for their business, but it's actually reporting to their personal credit profile. So oh, you, wow. for six months, you're carrying a ninety percent balance, and that crushes the soul of your personal fundability, your personal profile, your mm -hmm. approval readiness for the next loan or line of credit. Psh, goes through the floor. Wow. For example, um, Spark uh, Spark cards from Capital One, Capital mm -hmm. One Spark cards, report to your personal profile. Oh, wow. But say business credit all over it. And so if you don't know the insider secret, then you're going to go, because they're super popular, 2%, 2.5% cash back. They're like, okay, I'm going to go because- uh, I'm Capital a business one. person now. Yeah, ca ca Capital One is super aggressive in marketing. So yeah. we look at it, we go, yeah, I want to get a Spark card. And I'm going to get two and a half percent back or whatever it is. And then they start being a good businessman, businesswoman, and carry balances and crash and burn, right? Discover It card, the IT card. Discover It card, same thing, reports to your personal. There are lots and lots and lots and lots of these. Credit imposters, business credit imposters. So that's a landmine, right? You yeah. get a smart card, you start using it, boom, you just blew up your future approval readiness, right? Wow. And so, and so, um, and there are over 112 landmines. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of landmines. And, there, and there's uh, there's actually 150. Oh, here's another thing that that your audience may want to be aware of: that your credit score is not relevant until after you're approved there is it's not really relevant until you're after after you're approved what happens is they use your credit score to it, you cross what's called a denial threshold let's say it's 720 so if you have a 720 boom you're in the game you're not approved you get to be evaluated but if you're a, a, a 719 <laughs> Gone. You get denied. Out of huh. out. Not even a chance. But if you're 720, you're now in the game to get approved. Then this is what's crazy. Nobody knows this. Then the then the lender software, not FICO. FICO is a third party score a, a, a scoring company. Yeah. Now the lender comes in and uses their 40 borrower behaviors to evaluate you for the approval. 40 borrower behaviors are being evaluated wow then if you get approved boom your score now matters again because if you have a 
721, you'll get 2,000. If you have an 821, you'll get 20,000 because oh, wow. it's how much you get is what the score. So the score gets you into the game and it tells you how much you get. It does not approve you ever, you guys. So we walk, there's another landmine. We walk in thinking, oh, look, I got a, I got a 780 credit score and we get denied. We're like, I don't understand what's happening. Just giving you an idea exactly what's happening. And so all of these borrower behaviors, in fact, that's my, uh, that's a, a, a free gift that I have for you uh, oh, wow. for listeners is um, if they go to get fundable behaviors, plural behaviors.com, I'll give you all 150 borrower behaviors that FICO and lenders draw from to create their 40 that they use to evaluate. I'll give you 150 of them. So, but that's another example. And every one of those have a criteria that need to be met for you to be approved. So we're, that's what we do is we help, uh, yeah. we help our, our, our community build their, the, their fundability, build their viability to become and become better at getting approved. It's awesome. Very cool. Um, you're. I have so much. It's, I have so many questions. There's so much going on in my head right now, Merle. I don't even know what question to ask next. Um, but okay. So let's see here. So they're all. So get an LLC. Make sure you avoid the landmines. Um, and you're. All, Thank you so much for your generous offer. At the end, we'll also make sure that you share that again. This way people can get to learn those behaviors that they need to start modifying. Because I'm sure there are a lot of people listening. Maybe they have a perfect credit credit score, but maybe some people don't. So they have to start modifying their behaviors to, to increase their credit score. So yeah. it's great to know like what they're looking for because you think, oh, payment paying on time and keeping low balances, but that they're that's only two out of a hundred and that there are 148 more that they have to look into. That is, so. that is correct. Awesome. I love that. So Merle, how did you get into this business? Like what <laughs> drives you forward to teach people these skills and teach people these well, facts? Thank, that's a, thank you for asking me that because um, I literally, oh, I helped co-founder. I was one of the original co-founders of Lexington Law Firm, which is today the wow. largest credit repair law firm in the country. And I found out very quickly that you can't repair your way to approval readiness. What, I didn't know there was these 40 borrow behaviors. I didn't know what approval readiness meant. I thought, hey, get rid of a few negative items. Ta-da! So credit repair never has really worked. I mean, you can delete some items, but well, usually not all of them. And so what's the difference between one negative item and three negative items? Because your score and your fundability are still in the toilet. Mm -hmm. So I left Lexington and started Get Fundable because just like it says in the title of my company, I want you to be fundable, right? Yeah. Not, not credit clean because the score, credit repair focuses on raising a score, but it doesn't make you approval ready. See the difference? The score does a huge matter. difference now that I know. <laughs> I know, right? So, so our our intent. So that's where it became my mission to educate. So we're a tech-enabled borrower education company, and we are dedicated to helping the serious business owners, small, medium, and large, serious business owners become approval ready and put more profit in their pockets because you can access the cheapest money on the planet when you do so. Now you can be a serious borrower, uh, a serious business owner and be an actor or a musician or a restaurant owner or whatever your jam is. But yeah. you gotta be, but for those who don't care about the business side, you're probably not, probably not our uh, uh, part of our community, right? But yeah. To really level up who you are as a brand, come on in. That's awesome. I love that because you know what? And the thing is too, is like, if you're listening to this podcast and you're an actor, model, musician, yeah, no, you're no, no. a future, you're an author, you're an entrepreneur, you fall into this category, whether or not you want to, because yeah, it's, right. it That's is, cool. it's what you are like. And I, I love, and again, I love, I love what we're talking about here because this is something people don't talk about. It's, it's sexy to talk about, building your social media following. It's sexy to talk about 
working with the best acting coaches, but the information that you're giving people right now is going to allow people to get the funding that they need. Like for one, for example, like we have an inner circle. It's yeah. it starts out at thirty thousand dollars a year. It's going up to fifty thousand dollars a year, and you might be like, "Whoa, that's crazy for actors and models." But so many times people are like, "I okay, well, what's what could, what else can I do?" If they start following your principles, you're going to give them the ability to invest in themselves in a large way to accelerate their careers. And I think you can agree with this. People at the highest level in our the people entrepreneurs at the highest level, the high billionaires, they're not using their own money to fund everything. That's uh, why get fundable is such an amazing concept. Yeah. Nobody's you the smart people are not using their own money. They're leveraging other people's money or yep. OP, right. And and that's where any of these joint ventures, I mean. Do you know how many uh, actors have have been able to have been able to transition in producing their own films and and becoming part of the back end profits of these of the films because yeah. they contribute more than just their talent. To the game, yeah, right. Yeah, like becoming an executive producer, for example. I was I forgot, like. The people at the highest level, not only, like you said, they're not only acting out, they're executive producers. And that's how you make money, not only from the front end, but also from the back end. So this yeah. is like one of the most important topics that no one's talking about. Well, you, you mentioned you mentioned Brad Pitt, and I hope I know his production. Plan B is his production company, right? I believe so, so yeah. Yeah. So the thing is, is he started that really early in his career. Yes, he he hit his pace pretty quickly, but the bottom line is he had a he had a plan for business the second he had any leverage as as an actor. He was already thinking about how do I how do I integrate myself into the entire production process because that's where the, that's where the money is produce yeah. the film and then sell it for distribution etc. Right, so all those things are possible when you can put skin in the game. Skin in the game is usually money, right? There's not a lot of sweat equity in in big productions. Right? So. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And, and again, I, um, I interviewed another entrepreneur just a little while ago and we were talking about how you have to start your career, start living now the way you want to end. So if you're an actor, model, musician, like being a star is awesome, but like, what's the long game? What if, like, what if your acting career is only short term? Like how, what's the long game? And again, that's exactly what you're the opportunity that you're giving people here. So I love this so much, Merle. Well, uh, yeah, uh, another example, Post Malone, right? He's, oh. he's local to Salt Lake, which is where I am. He's Salt, local to our area. He is, he has business, he's buying businesses here yeah. because, uh, because you never know when your next drop is a flop, right? Yeah. You never know. So, yeah. so, but business can be planned career you know acting or music musical careers modeling careers may not have the same dependability right and so all the smart artists are getting as fast as possible into the business side to expand their uh, their opportunities on the business side and then those businesses just blow up when you get famous they grow like any good business run business will if you don't become famous it's still a freaking win. Yeah, it is. One of our good friends is George Chanos. He's the former attorney general for in, for the state of Nevada. He owns multiple franchises because, again, even like in the political sphere, like there you, you only have a, there, you have a certain span, and then you have to keep move. You have you have to have something to fall back on. So I love this so much. Oh my goodness! Can you I, like our half an hour has flown by, Merle? By the way. <laughs> <laughs> I want to grab something real quick. Okay. Awesome. If you guys are enjoying this, I make sure that you hit subscribe because I tell I always tell you, you never know what's coming next. Okay, what did you have to grab? All right. Right? So, um here's here's another if they uh, this is a copy of my book. It's called The New F Word, right? And the new F word is fundability. And so in this book are the principles we just talked uh, well, 
like there's another hundred principles to talk about in this book. It's free. I'm, I want to give it to your community for yeah. free. Just go to getfundablebook.com. If you cover shipping, I'll get this to you free of charge. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. I love that. So go so go to getfundable.com. No, get oh, fundable sorry. book. Get, get fundable book. Book.com. Awesome. Thank you so much for offering the book. And also thank you so much for those the free download as well. So can you go over both of those things again? This yeah. way anyone who anyone who's listening who doesn't invest in these things, I yeah. don't know what to tell them. But for free for free, go to get fundable behaviors behaviors.com and uh, that will download an ebook with all 150 categorized by type you'll see wow. that there's an elegance to how they're listed like time since something happened um uh the amount of time without something happening i mean there there's all these different wow. behaviors that are listed there so you know what's being measured right if you if you join my community in any way um, you'll you'll come to understand quickly how to, what to do about those be our behaviors. But at the minimum, I want you guys to stop stepping on the landmines. This is getfundablebook.com, getfundablebook.com. Just stop stepping on the landmines. And then if anything else, if, if you want to play, um, uh, uh, if you want to go from the minors to the majors when it comes to converting yourself into a business, that grows with your career, hit me up. You're the only person that I would recommend to people, recommend people to on a go forward basis. This has been amazing. Thank you so much, Merle. I really appreciate this. I appreciate your time and I appreciate you giving information to my audience and, and entrepreneurs, this is for you too. This is for all of you. So if you're listening to this, make sure you take Merle up on those offers that he just made you please make sure you stop st stepping on landmine get to know the new f word uh, that could be that could be a game that we could play <laughs> i've even got yeah right the new f word okay i'm gonna i'm i'm is it okay if i over deliver i'm gonna give another, yes. uh, another link that gives access to a whole bunch of ebooks would that be uh, i mean all so people can find which ones they like it's yes. meet merrill Dot com. You can see how to spell Merrill on my on the screen there. Meet Merrill.com. Go there and there is just a whole bunch of the, the link to the book is there. The 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 ebooks are there. My business funding master courses, all everything you need to know. Hit me up. Meet Merrill.com. Awesome. Well, Merrill, thank you so much for again delivering Perfect. so much value. I can't believe our 30 minutes is up, but I want to be respectful of your time. So again, thank you so much for being here. And for Absolutely. all of my listeners, make sure you hit subscribe to Coffee in the Green Room podcast because you know what? You never know what's coming up next here in the green room. All right. Merrill, again, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Bye. Bye now.